Hello, and welcome to weekend two and three of the board build. I want everybody to crack open your favorite drink of choice, which I'm about ready to do. Oh, isn't that a great sound? Uh, smoking light is lit in the studio. Getting another thumbs up. Hey, that's always good. All right, well, here we go. Let's um, start watching this thing. Here comes the headgear logo. That's our uh, little production office here. Oh, cool music. Right on. Don't mind the scratching noise in the background. That's some trees I gotta trim while I work on the board. Uh, okay, Let's see what we got here. Um, here we see I've placed some of the ribs in. I have not glued them yet. I'm working my way, cutting out the holes to make sure everyone works out fine and it's in the right spot and everything checks out okay before I start doing any gluing whatsoever. And as you can see here, there's a kink right there. Well, well what's going to happen is once we glue in all the ribs, then we start putting in our railing, it's going to shift it and get it to straighten out. It's, it's kind of like straightening out, you know, anything. You just take your measurements and straighten things out, whatever. All right, here we go. Here's a back view of the board. Here I've started to place in the rail pieces. Kind of skim around here. Let's do some music. Nice little flyby. All right, this is my first problem. There's two on this side. Basically, I'm doing some clamping details. It's no biggie. As you can see, as I go along, I'm roughing in the wood because they were 2x4s at one time. And as you work it down, you work it down, just keep working it down until it finally gets down to the low spots. You see all these low spots, they'll work themselves in later on as we go down the road. Now here's a nice shot. This is the block effect. Two 2x4s two and a half inch piece on the top. Clamped in. I measured them out because you can't take a 2x4 and fit it in there. You'll you're run out of 2x4 at the nose end of the board. Now we're a little farther along in the project here. This looks like uh, weekend number three, and um, here we go. And we come over to this side. This side you can actually see I've done some grinding here. <clears throat> I think I'm showing off how the uh, how much farther out it is, and it's going to look like that. And we just work it down slowly in increment steps. Low steps. You don't want to take off too much because then you end up with a small board. Now here I've rounded the inside. I've, I've contoured it so it actually met. I mean the thing was a 2x4 like that. And this is my little test piece and here I'm going to show you some stuff about how to get this. Now when you take the 2x4 and you do this number, Just like my other first pieces, you end up out here, and that's way too far out. Here we go. I'm placing it in right now. See, 
you actually end up with a lot more than the 2x4 with. It just doesn't work doing it that way. So you have to lay it on the side and almost go with the 4 inches laterally. Hence why we have this right here. But to save yourself some extra grinding, you can cut out contours in on the inner side of it. So you have your flat side out, and on your inside you contour into the next piece. And here another demonstration of the grinding work. After, before. Now a little bit about radiuses here. We need to work this into a radius. You've got a radius going into the nose from the outside, going from left to right. And you also got a radius going up and down. So you're working with two separate radiuses all at the same time. And it really makes that part of the process kind of uh, very complex. Oh, this looks like this is it. Okay. Well, I thank you for joining us. Hope you have a good one and hope you learned something because I sure didn't.